Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Nuta the Crochet Ball and if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please, please, please subscribe to my channel. Like, share and comment on my videos and today we're going to do this beautiful pattern for a washcloth or a dishcloth. Here I've used a berry stitch. So here it is. It looks like this from the front and it looks like this from the back. Here it is. And now for this washcloth or dishcloth, I've used my 100% cotton yarn. And for this one, I'm used a uh, 5 mm of the hook. Here it is. And the size of this washcloth or a disc cloth is 10 by 10. So it is 10 inches long and 10 inches wide. Here it is. It's a square one. So let's begin. Okay. So have your yarn and we will start with a slip knot. So just have your yarn and have a slip knot here. And now we will chain up 38 here. 3 eight so here it is it's one two three four five six thirty six thirty seven and thirty eight so here it is got my this thirty eight chains here it is and now i will turn my work and i will start working at the back side of my this chains here it is and now i will skip my this first chain and i will go to this second chain so go to yours the second chain and insert your hook and have one single crochet here so have a single crochet here and now we will have our berry stitch here so for that we will yarn over and we will insert our hook into our this next chain so insert your hook into this next chain and grab your yarn here it is and now you're gonna have three loops in your hook now yarn over and pull your yarn through one loop only remember not two loops only one loop here it is and now you're gonna have three loops on your hook now yarn over and insert your hook again into that same chain into that same stitch and grab a yarn and now you're gonna have five loops on your hook now yarn over and pull your yarn through all five loops here it is and this is your berry stitch and now after every berry stitch we will need a single crochet so here it is just go to this next stitch insert your hook into the next stitch and grab a yarn and have one single crochet here here it is it, it will look like this from the front and your berry stitch will form at the back so here it is it is just like this so your stitch will look like this so when you will turn your work you will understand the stitch and here it is this is the front side so you will not look at any of the stitch here but your stitch will form at the back it is kind of a um, bobble stitch so if you have worked on the bobble stitch you will understand that if you are doing a bobble stitch you will have to have five uh, double crochets and then we are having a single crochet into the next stitch it is kind of a bobble stitch but it is just a lighter version of a bobble stitch it creates that same effect but it looks like an embossed stitch on your on your work so here it is this is your first berry stitch we will repeat our pattern here so here we will have one single crochet and one berry stitch one single crochet and one berry stitch and we will repeat over this pattern here all the way on over this foundation chains so here it is our next stitch will be a berry stitch again so for that again yarn over insert your hook into this next stitch and grab a yarn you're gonna have three loops in your hook now yarn over and pull your yarn through one loop only here it is and now again you will have three loops in your hook now yarn over for one more time your second time and insert your hook into that same stitch your same chain and grab a yarn and now you're gonna have five loops on your hook now yarn over and pull your yarn through all five loops here it is and this is your berry stitch and after every berry stitch we will need a single crochet so here it is we will go to this next stitch we will insert our hook into this next chain and grab a yarn and have one single crochet and here it is this is your berry stitch here it is and your berry stitch will form at the back so here it is it looks like this again our next stitch will be a berry stitch so for that yarn over insert your hook into this next stitch grab a yarn yarn over and pull your yarn through one loop only now yarn over for the second time insert your hook into that same chain and grab a yarn you're gonna have five loops on your hook now yarn over and pull your yarn through all five loops and now your next chain you will have one single crochet to form your this berry stitch so here it is have one single crochet here and it looks like this and your third berry stitch is at the back it looks like this 
hiatus. Again, we will go to this next stitch, yarn over, insert your hook into this next stitch, next chain and grab your yarn. You're going to have three loops, yarn over and spool your yarn through one loop only. Now again, you will have three loops on your hook. Now yarn over for the second time, insert your hook into that same chain and grab your yarn. You're going to have five loops on your hook, yarn over and spool your yarn through all five loops. Now go to this next chain, insert your hook grab a yarn and have one single crochet here so yarn over and pull a yarn through both the loops this is your single crochet and it looks like this from the front and it looks like this from the back here it is again for your next stitch we will have a berry stitch so for that yarn over and insert your hook into this stitch your chain grab a yarn yarn over and pull a yarn through one loop only yarn over again and insert your hook into that same chain and grab a yarn. You're gonna have five loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull your yarn through all five loops and your next stitch will be a single crochet. Now keep on repeating this pattern all the way on your this chains up to the end and your last stitch will be a single crochet. So here it is. Keep on repeating your pattern. One berry stitch and one single crochet and I'm gonna meet you at the end here on my last stitch on my last chain and that will be a single crochet. So here it is. Keep on repeating your pattern. And here it is. After my round number one, it looks like this. And if I will turn it, the back side will look like this. So here it is. I got my this all barrel stitches here. And this is my front side. So it looks like this after my round number one. Now, for your round number two, we will chain one and turn our work. Here it is. And now we will have one single crochet on each stitch. And here we got our 37 stitches on over this row number one so for our row number two again we'll have 37 single crochets so here it is have a chain one turn your work insert your hook into this first stitch this is your first stitch grab a yarn and have one single crochet here go to this next one insert your hook grab a yarn and have one single crochet go to this next one insert your hook grab a yarn have one single crochet go to this next stitch insert your hook grab a yarn and have one single crochet so here it is. Keep on having one single crochet on each stitch all the way until the end of this row and you're going to have your 37 single crochets and I'm going to meet you at the end. So here it is. I'm at the end of my this row, row number 2 and got my this 35 stitches here. Now next going to be my 36th stitch. Here it is. This is my 36th stitch and this one is going to be my last stitch, my 37th stitch. So I'm going to insert my hook into my this last stitch. Here it is. Grab a yarn and have one single crochet. And this is going to be your last stitch, your 37th stitch. And your work look like this. Now, for our row number 3 and 4, our next two rows, we will repeat our row number 1 and 2. So again, we will repeat about this row number 1 for our row number 3. So here it is. Have chain 1. Turn your work go to this first stitch so this is your chain one we will not count this as a stitch this is our first stitch go to this first stitch insert your hook grab a yarn and have one single crochet here so have your first single crochet here and now from your this second stitch we will start creating our berry stitch here so again yarn over insert your hook into this second stitch and grab a yarn yarn over and pull your yarn through one loop only yarn over insert your hook again to that same stitch grab a yarn yarn over and pull a yarn through all five loops here it is and now go to this next stitch and have one single crochet here it is and it looks like this from the front so now keep on repeating your row number one for this row row number three so again for your next row we will have a berry stitch so here it is yarn over and insert your hook into this stitch yarn over and grab yarn through one loop only yarn over and insert your hook into that same stitch Grab a yarn, you're going to have five loops, yarn over and pull a yarn through all five loops and have one single crochet. Keep on repeating this pattern all the way until the end of this row and you're going to have your 37 stitches, one berry stitch and one single crochet. So you're going to have your 37 stitches and I'm going to meet you at the end. And here it is at the end of my round number three it looks like this and now for your round number four we will again repeat our round number two here so for that chain one 
turn your work and have one single crochet on each stitch so this is your chain one go to this first stitch insert your hook grab yarn and have one single crochet and now keep on having one single crochet on each stitch and by the end you're gonna have your 37 single crochets and hit this i'm here at the end of my this round number four and it looks like this now for your round number five we will chain one and turn our work now here for first four stitches we will have one single crochet and one berry stitch so here it is go to this first stitch this is a chain one go to this first stitch insert your hook and have one single crochet here go to this next stitch and have one berry stitch here so for that yarn over and insert your hook into that next stitch grab your yarn yarn over and pull your yarn through one loop only yarn over and insert your hook again into that same stitch grab your yarn yarn over and pull your yarn through all five loops go to this next one and have one single crochet this is your third stitch and go to this next stitch your fourth stitch and here again we will have one berry stitch here it is and now this is your first four stitches now for your next five stitches we will have one single crochet into each stitch so go to this next one and have one single crochet here so that's your first single crochet that's gonna be your second single crochet go to this next one that's a third single crochet go to this next one that's gonna be your fourth single crochet and now go to this next one and that's gonna be your fifth single crochet here it is it looks like this if you will see it from the front this is actually a back side but your stitches are coming up at the back so here it is it looks like this from the back here and now for next three stitches we will have one berry stitch one single crochet and one berry stitch so here it is after you have this five single crochets go to this next stitch and have one berry stitch here go to this next one and have one single crochet here go to this next one and have one berry stitch here and go to this next five stitches and have one single crochet into each stitch so here it is it's one two three four and five here it is if you'll see it from the front it looks like this again for next three stitches we will have one berry stitch one single crochet and one berry stitch so here it is it's one berry stitch one single crochet and one berry stitch and now next five stitches we will have one single crochet into each stitch so here it is it's one two three four and five here it is again we will repeat our pattern so next three stitches we will have one berry stitch one single crochet and one berry stitch so here it is it is your one berry stitch one single crochet and one berry stitch now again next five stitches we will have one single crochet into each stitch so here it is it's one two three four and five and now for next four stitches we will have one berry stitch one single crochet one berry stitch and one single crochet and that's how we will finish over this row row number five so here it is have one berry stitch single crochet go to the next one have one berry stitch and go to this last stitch and have one single crochet here here it is it looks like this and it looks like this from the front here okay. enough here for round number six we will chain one turn your work and have one single crochet into each stitch and again for this round number six you're gonna have your 36 single crochets so here it is go to this first stitch and have one single crochet 
go to this next one and have one single crochet go to this next one and have one single crochet keep on having one single crochet on each stitch and by the end of this row row number six we're gonna have our 37 single crochet and i'm gonna meet you at the end of this row row number six here and here it is after my row number six it looks like this and got my this 37 single crochets here now for your row number seven we will repeat our row number five here so for that chain one turn your work and now first four stitches we will have one single crochet one berry stitch one single crochet and one berry stitch so here it is it's one single crochet one berry stitch one single crochet and one berry stitch and now onwards for next five stitches we will have one single crochet into each stitch so here it is it's one two three four and five and next three stitches we will have one berry stitch single crochet and one berry stitch so here it is it's one berry stitch one single crochet and one berry stitch Here. and now we will repeat over this pattern all the way until the end so we're going to repeat our row number five for our this row row number seven so again for next five stitches have one single crochet into each stitch so it's one two three four and five and next three stitches have one berry stitch one single crochet and one berry stitch again next five stitches one two three four and five have one single crochet into each stitch and again Next three stitches have one berry stitch, one single crochet, and one berry stitch. Again, next five stitches, one, two, three, four, and five, have one single crochet into each stitch. And for your remaining four stitches, have one berry stitch, one single crochet, one berry stitch, and one single crochet. Keep on repeating this pattern all the way until the end. And I'm going to meet you at the end of this row, row number seven. And here it is. After the end of my row number seven it looks like this and if you will turn my work it will look like this here it is and now for your round number eight we will have a chain one turn your work and have one single crochet into each stitch so here it is keep on having one single crochet into each stitch and by the end you're gonna have your 37 single crochets and i'm gonna meet you at the end of this row round number eight here it is and here it is after the end of my row number eight it looks like this got my this one single crochet into each stitch and here it is now we're going to repeat our row number one two three four five six seven and eight until our row number 36 so keep on repeating this exact same pattern up to your row number 36 and i'm going to meet you after my row number 36 three six and here it is after my round number 36 it looks like this and now if you want you can have a loop here so for the loop i'm gonna have chain 15 here so after my this last stitch i'm gonna chain a 50 it's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen and fifteen so here it is have your 15 chains insert my hook into my this last stitch my same stitch here it is and we'll grab the yarn and we'll have a slip stitch here and here it is your loop is ready to hang your this washcloth or your this dishcloth and now we're gonna cut our yarn here just have your scissors cut your yarn and secure your this last stitch here and now we will hide over this ends in and i'm gonna meet you after that and here it is our washcloth or our dishcloth is ready it looks like this here it is and i hope you have liked my today's tutorial if you have like please like share and comment on my videos and please 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 subscribe to my channel and i will see you into the next video till then bye